so. Take this jacket off, because I'm running up in this room with this jacket. That's not more my Lauren by Ralph Lauren jacket that I thrifted. Y'all know that. Might have been half off, or might have been. And that's it. I can't remember. But yeah, that's what I wore on top of this today, because it's not cold, but it was rainy, like rainy and ugly. Hey, Miss Raven. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm doing a little better today. Uh, look at my hair. It's a hot mess because it's been like misty and rainy the past couple days. Hey, Martha. And I had a good time today. because I know I said I probably wouldn't be thrif thrifting for this week or that, but I figured out some ways. Just going to pay something a little late. My mortgage, it'll be all right. Pay it on the 17th. Things be all right. So I'm not going to stress over spilled milk. So I have most of it, but I don't want to do that because I, I don't want to have no money until the next thing. I'm getting stuff on my posh quicker, too, so hopefully people will start buying again. I don't know, but I'm not going to worry because worrying just makes things worse. So I went and got a couple of things today. And I, I mean, the stuff I showed you, I told you I was going to show you from last week as well. I'm great at doing this haul, but I did go today and get a few things. But I said, I'm, I'm not going to stress. I know I've handled financial issues before. And I mean, I get paid. I get another check what, in a week and a half, so I'll be good. Just not gonna spend all that money. I got most of the I'm working money is gonna be in there. So then when the 17th rolls around, can add whatever from my check, send it on. Then I still have money for Kenya too. So not gonna stress y'all. I'm not gonna stress, but you know sometimes you just gotta let it out like I did in my last video. I thank y'all for all the support and you, Stephanie. Thank you for the good comment. I just replied to you. So I'm I'm doing all right. Doing doing much better. Plus I got my I just came from the store and got my anxiety pills. Shoot. Don't show you. Ain't no shame if you need something for anxiety, for being paranoid, or just not trust. Yeah, I got my anxiety pills. I haven't taken them yet, but I'm going to. They do help. Shoot, don't just live with anxiety and being stressed or over just too much. When you got too much on your plate at the same time, it's just a lot. Plus, we're planning this trip with the, getting the visas and getting to the uh, it's in two weeks exactly. Well, really, we leave on that Tuesday night, so even it's really like less than two weeks. We leave on the 21st. Today is the 8th. So, yeah, we have 13 days. Well, might as well say today's over with 12 days till we leave. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby Zane. I got him tonight because Apostle had to, my Apostle had to preach somewhere. So, she's like, I'll bring him on over. So, I had to get his little hyper bundle of joy to look at him. Say hi. <laughs> He's trying to get that into everything. That's his thing now. He wants to get into everything and throw everything. Ain't that right? You gonna wave at him? You gonna wave too, or you just gonna say hi? Huh? There you go. You wave too. All right. <laughs> the little YouTube celebrity. You think you you think you a YouTube celebrity? Somebody said that Baby Zane needs his own channel. What you think about that? What do you think about that, Baby Zane? You need your own channel. Oh, he said, yeah, y'all. I don't know. Have to talk to his mom about all that. <laughs> Let me wipe this off. I'm wiping this off because it looks a little blurry. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> He's so silly. She, laughing at me laughing. So, welcome, everybody. Make sure you have thumbs up. Hey, Raven. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Martha. So let's get this haul on the road. Let's, say, let's get it started. Say, let's get it started. Oh, 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 yeah, Martha. If you have, if you have bad, I mean, Raven, if you have bad anxiety, I hope you take some for it. I didn't start to take some for my anxiety uh, last year because I just realized, I mean, I knew I had anxiety, probably used to have anxiety attacks way back when, before my mama died, when she was sick and stuff. Before she was sick, I used to get anxiety attacks, but I don't get those anymore. I just get. Oh, stressed out, worrying about stuff that I shouldn't be worrying about, thinking everything's going wrong. Oh, I don't take, I don't have to take Xanax. Luckily, that's a lot stronger than what I take. I take Venlafaxine, the, the generic for Effexor. Effexor. They said that was an old time uh, drug that they used to prescribe for anxiety, but it works good for me. And because and it doesn't put me like, oh, I'm out of my mind. I'm still my normal self. I'm just not worrying about stupid stuff that I shouldn't be worrying about. And making up my own problems in my mind. <laughs> Some stuff can be problems, but I when you don't, don't take an anxiety pill, I can make stuff worse problems than it already was. It just uh, so I did get them. I ain't took them yet, but I did go get them. 
I'm glad whoever it was. I think it was Raven that told me if you move the mouse when those words disappear, because that does really work. I didn't know that really worked, but it does make them words come back quickly. They come right back. So now I can't complain about not seeing y'all no more, because all I got to do is move my little mouse pad and boom, they appear. All right. I'm going to show some of the cute shoes that I think these ain't my size, so they're going to be on. Yeah. Too bad they ain't my size. But I got these. And I think I got this Sunday, these shoes right here. But look at these. And look what they are. Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer. And I got them for $3.99. Cute little pineapple. Pineapples. Little pineapple thong shoes. They are so cute. I wish they was my size. They size 7. Yeah, size 7. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, so size 7, they'll be on my posh. I haven't took, I don't know why I didn't put them on there because I put a lot of stuff on my posh this morning. Some of this stuff I'm showing, I already put on my posh this morning because I couldn't sleep. I was, it's just anxiety. But I'm going to take my anxiety pills and get it right. <laughs> and plus, I got high blood pressure and I haven't been taking my high blood pressure medicine in the past two, three weeks either. So that adds to it when your blood pressure might be high. I have a very low dose of that, but still, I needed to take it every day like I'm supposed to. But yeah, they're literally Pulitzers. And then these were the other shoes I just had out a second ago. I, I mean, I've heard a lot about Morel. Or Morel, Morel, however you pronounce it. So, I mean, I know they're not cheap, so I'm hoping they, I, but I heard they kind of sell good on Poshmark. I don't know, because I have a pair of boots. Well, I haven't put those on there yet, so I can't count those. I don't think I've put those boots on there yet, but I can't remember. But these, I'm hoping they should sell just because they're red. And they're red and black. They're cute little red ones. And these are size, because I think these are like a hundred something dollar shoes. Size eight. These are size eight US. So leather, cute little slip on, comfortable shoes. They will be up on my posh because I, I didn't put these up last, well, this morning. It was like five o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock in the morning. I was putting stuff on my posh because I couldn't really sleep. So hopefully I have some sales coming up soon. Yeah, I stopped it. I stopped my Ipsy. And then they said, well, maybe not stop. We'll give you a free. So the one I get this month is supposed to be a free one. So maybe they'll make this one the bomb because they want to try to keep me for my little $10 a month. I stopped my Sephora Play, too. I stopped it. It's like, oh, we hate to miss you, but Sephora Play didn't offer me no free. Uh, but I got to go Sephora and get my birthday gift because you know if you have Sephora rewards or whatever it is that every year when your birthday comes around, you get a, they have a special birthday package every year. This year's birthday stuff at Sephora is really nice. So if you ain't signed up, make sure you signed up because it's like you can pick between the skin, a skin kit, skin kit and like with like three parts or a lip gloss, make something lip gloss and something else at liner and some stuff kit i'm gonna get the lip gloss and liner and kit stuff kit because i only use that it cosmetics on my face so i'm not gonna use another skin kit i'm gonna use the it um cosmetics um secret sauce that's what i use and that baggage stuff i've been using a couple times i didn't use it today as you can see i know i know i'm supposed to take my high blood pressure but lately like i went a whole month without my high blood pressure medicine like a couple months ago and my blood pressure is like re more regulated now it depends with me it depends on if i gain weight or if i lose weight type stuff plus i'm on a very low dose but i did start taking it back in 2013 because i went to the hospital had a migraine that was like shooting shooting pain and they was like oh yep your um blood pressure is stroke level they hooked me up to the iv immediately and i'm like oh I guess I can't play around. I need to start taking my high blood pressure medicine, even if it's just 10.5 milligrams or whatever. I know. I know, Martha. I got it. I got I got my I went and got my all, my all of it today, my blood pressure and my anxiety medicine today. So I will be taking it here in a bit. So I can get myself under control. Yeah, I have a monitor. It's right over on the floor. I keep it close in case I think I need it. But my blood pressure, I can tell kind of when my blood pressure is going up because I do kind of get a headache. Hey, Helen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Patty. I do. Hey, Angela. Hey, Nana. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah, that's baby Zane. I just had him in here a second ago. He got popped. Come on, Zane. They, Nana want to see you, baby Zane. Come in here pop in again. Everybody hear him in the background. <laughs> Bring them on in here for another pop-up cameo. <laughs> you got to do it. It's your baby cameo. <laughs> Come here. 
Come here, Tinkers. Come here, Tinkers. He don't want to come from a son. <laughs> he be attached. Say hi. Say hi again. Say hi, Nana. You going to say hi to Nana? Say hi, Nana. <laughs> Say, so y'all see my teeth. I showed him in the last video. See my two teeth. You got two teeth. Yeah, you got two teeth. His birthday is coming up. Say, my birthday is coming up. It's, it's August 8th. You got one month to your birthday. You be one years old. Say, my birthday is September the 8th. Y'all want to send me present? Oops, I poked him in the eye. Poked him in the eye. Say, y'all want to send me presents? Send them to my Lala's P.O. Box in the bath section. Ain't that right? <laughs> my first birthday. Baby's first birthday. September the 8th. Yay! Hopefully we can get him walking by the end. Yay! Birthday. One month from your birthday. <laughs> Say, what size you wear? You said wear 12 and 18 months. 12 to 18 months. And then shoes, I don't know. Because I have shoes, but I don't know what size he wears. Probably a three, four, probably a size three in shoes and toys. Whatever y'all want to send him, he'll be happy. If y'all don't send him nothing, he'll be happy. Because he's just happy. I just thought I'd tell y'all his birthday because y'all love him so much. Yeah. We're going to do a baby Zane birthday blog. Baby Zane first birthday blog, ain't we? Where you going to be, Chuck E. Cheese? You gonna be a Chuck E. Cheese? Where you gonna be? You don't know Malibu Jacks? Where you gonna go? Malibu Jacks? Chuck E. Cheese? You oh, you said Chuck E. Cheese. He, I guess it's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a little birthday vlog with him. Poop, 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 poop. Hit him on his diaper. All right, come get him. Come get a little hyper, hyper child. My son gave him some juice, some of that little box juice, and he's over here just hyper. Just hyper, y'all. Now, you welcome, Nana. I'm trying to get my son to come get him. <laughs> All right, Martha. He's waving at everybody. You say hi to Angela, Nana, everybody. You got your bottle, don't you? Good night. <laughs> he ain't going good night no time soon. Right. He ain't going good night no time soon. This is a hype to sell. All right, on to the next items. I know y'all waiting to see the good item, the big, the one that's in the thumbnail. <laughs> I was, I was, hey, I think it's real. I don't know. I gotta research a little bit more, but I think it's a real vintage one though. Then I got this new tags. It's one of those uh, gift with purchases for Elizabeth Arden. But I just thought it was a really cute tote. Little folds and snake skin, I guess, reptile skin, alligator skin fold, but it's maroon. On my Poshmark, I took a picture with this with those one shoes that I said I was gonna take out for a day and sell in a week that are tan, white, and maroon. And it looked really cute with those two together. So hey, if you wear a size, I think those were size 10 heels, and then look at that picture on my Poshmark with this and that. You could buy this and then buy the shoes to go with it. But yeah, this I think I'm selling this for like 10 bucks. Ten dollars on my Poshmark. And it's just really, really cute tote. I think it's really cute. And it was was it three ninety nine or was it dollar seventy nine? Let me see. Oh, I took the sticker off. I think it was three ninety nine though. I think because it was over there with the purses. I forgot to took the stickers off a lot of this stuff, but I know it's three ninety nine. Then this Kathy Van Zeeland purse is in excellent condition. Excellent. Look at the bottom. Nothing's wrong with it. And it has that little purse. They say if you can see the little these little things down there, that they're authentic and stuff. Different signs of authenticity for these Kathy Van Zeeland purses. And it's a gold with a copper, a bronze-like handles and bronze right here. And it has a pocket in the front. And it has a pocket in the back as well. And the inside is like a gold and yellow. Gold and yellow interior. And it has that Kathy Van Zeelen right here. Oops. And I, this is on the Poshmark already. I put this up this morning. 33% off. 
back to school cell. Oh, well, that's nice. I got to figure out where our Salvation Army moved to because there used to be one close to me, but they're remodeling or either they moved it. I think they're remodeling. Somebody said they're remodeling, though, because the store needed a lot of work. They are either remodeling or they moved. I have to go read the sign that might be on the door or something. I don't know, but I think there's there's another one close to my job of, of Salvation Army. I might have to check that one out, see what's going on. Because I usually don't go to Salvation Army. I usually go straight to uh, Goodwill. I might start going that if they're remodeling, maybe they'll look better, look nicer on the inside. I don't know. But the Goodwills look much better than the Salvation Army's here. This bag, 99 cents sale Sunday, this bag right here. But I'm going to show you the rest of these purses that I got. I got these purses Saturday. These totes. This is a cute uh, Victoria's Secret tote. So three ninety, I paid three ninety nine for that. And it's in excellent condition. And it's already on my Poshmark. I think I have it up there for fifteen dollars or something like it, because he sell for like fifteen dollars on Poshmark. Bound for like forty bucks at Victoria's Secret, thirty five, forty bucks. So yeah, and it's in like I said, great condition. You got two pockets on the side, a pocket on each side, pocket on each side, so it could be a tote for like your swimwear baby bed you can use it as a baby bag put the bottles on the side you can use it it's just overnight bag carry on bag whatever it's just a cute little victoria's secret tote and then i got this yeah i think it's cute and then this tommy hill for your toe isn't that cute that's cute it's faux faux leather. That's not real leather. It's imitation leather because it says that on the inside, but it's a really cute Tommy Hill figure. Blue jean, and this is denim. Yeah, denim on the inside, satin or nylon on the inside, denim on the outside. And it just says Tommy Hill figure in red right there. And this is already up on my posh mark. Already up her A V, A V. So hey Tammy. I didn't see you come in. But yeah, this Tommy Hill figure totes already up. I think I put this up there for 20, 15 or 20. I don't know. But y'all already know if y'all want to buy something, y'all say subby and I get the discount. Y'all make an offer and get the discount or say subby and I just send y'all an offer at a discounted price. Um, is that all the bags from this week other than the goody, goody, goodies from today that I got? Let me see. Oh, okay, let's, let's go to the shoes because I know y'all like shoes. Before seeing clothes. So let's go to the shoes from last week that I got. These, look at these. These are so cute. And these are Ann Taylor. Size 8 medium patent leather. They are patent leather boots. How cute are these patent leather boots? These are already on my posh. Um, I can't remember for how much. Probably 30, 40 bucks. Something like it, but they're on my posh mark. La la b forty two. That's my closet. La la b forty two. Just la la letter b forty two. But look at these. They don't even look like they were worn. These Ann Teller boots, and they were six dollars and ninety nine cents. So they weren't three ninety nine, which is the normal shoe, but six dollars and ninety nine cent for some nice, cute patent leather Ann Teller boots. I wish they was my size, but of course they're not. They're size eight. So some lucky. Size eight person is gonna get this adorable, buy this adorable pair of Ann Taylor boots that look like they have not been worn at all. What was they worn? Just in the store. I mean, they are in perfect condition. So these are already on my posh. You wear size eight, Nana? They are already on my posh. They are already up. I think I put price them at thirty bucks. So those are hundred and something dollar boots. And then I got some Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture flats. Just some cute little flats. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, just say Juicy Couture right there on the things with the gold accents and the little kissy lips on the inside. Even the, those little things have little crowns on them. These little things. And the soles look pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I got it for $3.99, of course. I have them on my posh, 15 to 20 bucks probably. I can't remember, but it's not, these are already on my posh. And I like the, the see that 
like <clears throat> what you call it, perforated or something. I don't know. Then the patent leather tips. <laughs> oh, my son's gonna have to bring my water. <coughs> bring me my water. My bottle of water. Cause my fan ain't even on and I'm coughing. Then look at these. Look at these shoes. Somebody gonna go on a hot date. Who got a hot date coming up? Look at these shoes. Mm -mm -mm. Be hot to try. I'm trying to tell you. Look at this. Hot date. Hot date action. Size six. So some, some size six foot person. Antonio M Milani. Size six medium. And it says glove fit. That's the type. I guess the style of them. Go, glove fit. It fit. I guess they fit like a glove. But yeah. These are just faux fur. Just like I have another pair. They're not Antonio Milani. I think they're guests. They have this quote, faux fur uh, fabric. It feels good, too. So, yeah. Have those two, and they're in. Maybe they've worn a couple of times. But they're in good shape. These, I, I haven't put these on my posh yet. I don't think. But I thought I did put them on there last night. I'm not sure now. So, they're either on my posh already. Or they're going up. I think they might already be on there. I might have put them up last night. Those size six. <laughs> then I got these little cute little vans. Look at it. Aren't these some cute little vans? A little leather tag. This that's like leather. And then this little piece. This says vans. So they're like a peanut gray, black peanut butter. Little cute little kid shoe, size one. Size one youth. Yeah, US youth, size one. Cute little vans. So, somebody already made an offer on these today, and I just put them up, like I said, between five and seven o'clock this morning. They made an offer that I counter offered a little bit more than just a tiny bit more than what they offered. They offered 10. I counter offered 12 because I wanted to at least make nine bucks off the little shoes. They're cute. I gotta clean them up though, but shoot, they work at least nine bucks. Cute little fans. Nine bucks profit. Because with if they paid ten, I would only make seven bucks profit. I'm like, okay, can I at least make nine bucks profit on the little vans? Please. Cause vans sell quick, so I don't have to worry about vans uh, selling. So I ain't gonna just give them up like that. They're gonna have to at least give me twelve so I can have these uh Nine dollar profit on them. You at, are you in Nashville, uh, V? Because one of my coworkers was telling me about thrift store in Nashville, uh, Tennessee that uh has ninety nine cent stuff. Like you can get like everything's ninety nine cent. We uh, we said we were gonna go there one one time one weekend. One of my old coworkers, I ran into a thrift store. I would usually run into a thrift store all the time. I said, yeah, we're gonna have to take a trip to Nashville. It's only two and a half hours from here. And go to that go one weekend to get that uh 99 cent stuff. It says everything's 99 cent. All right, let me move this stuff on out the way. Man, what's this? Okay, here's some clothing items. Last week green was half off. So here's the stuff that I got for half off. Last week, I got these Vanilla Star jeans. I don't know if y'all know about Vanilla Star jeans, but I found out about Vanilla Star jeans from a thrift store. It was like a different type of thrift store for a fire. It was the Brenda, Brenda Cowan a Center. It was it's here, and they had a little thrift area. for. It was a memorial for her. She was a firefighter that got killed in duty, a black firefighter, woman, firewoman, I guess is what you call her. And she got killed in duty, so they made a little store after her. And it's, well, they made a center, but it's a daycare center and some other stuff, but it had a thrift store in it. I don't know if they took it out and put it back in, but at one point they took it out because they was getting so much stuff. And then it was this little small room. It wasn't a whole big store. It was like a small room that, that was the thrift, and they had some good prices. But I found some vanilla store jeans there for 25 cents. They had a 25 cent sale. That was like, this was years ago, probably six, seven years ago, something like that. And those jeans are like the best fitting jeans fit your curves fit everything and just fit perfect so i was like oh i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to find some of these jeans that i looked them up they don't they're not american jeans um, maybe they are now since i found a couple of pair of these and these look a little different because they used to have those pockets that zip 
the pockets is, they usually just have zip pockets zip down but these are like faux pockets these aren't even real pockets but they are vanilla star and they have stretched to them but i'm hoping that they fit form fit like those jeans because those jeans were like the best are the best fit i don't know if i still have them if i gave them away now by now but i probably well i'd love to fit on those jeans but when i looked them up they were only in europe and where you could order them online but they were like a hundred and some dollars Hundred something dollars. I didn't know them jeans was that much. I got them for twenty five cents at the thrift store, basically looking brand new. So yeah, I got these vanilla jeans. These are size four. They going on my posh. They're like a green teal, a teal. They're like teal green. And then I got the other pair that I had been looking at. It's good that people don't really know about certain brands because nobody really knows what Vanilla Star is. So that's why these they were there for like a whole week, and I found them. Now these I paid this one I paid the full price for so three ninety nine because these are capris and these are my size these are for me nice bright red and these are vanilla star as well size ten and this so I'm hoping these fit just like them gray ones that I got from that goodwill these have real pockets I don't know why them green ones have fake pockets maybe because they're size four they think size four people don't need them and then their pockets I don't know. But size four people need stuff in their pockets too. I wouldn't know because I ain't never been a size four. <laughs> Even when I was a skinny little kid, I was size seven just because my height. I ain't never been no size four. But yeah, these size four are going to be on my posh vanilla star jeans. The red vanilla star jeans are mine, mine, mine. And this, these are this is the stuff I got from the 99 cent uh, sale. So this was Sunday the green since it was half off all week as y'all know on sundays it's 99 cent whatever color been half off all week the color for this week is red i think i think it was red so red is half off this week and it'll be 99 cent sunday i got this look cute isn't this dress cute and it has a slip already made under it so you don't have to wear the slip but i thought this was adorable and i was mad because it wasn't my size because i don't think it's my size to, to my knowledge let me look and see. Nope. <laughs> it's size four and it's Jones, New York. And it has this piece in there. So I assume it's still new and hasn't even been worn because that this tag, the clear tag that's in there. And this is just cute. I think it's the back is out and then there's a halter like top around your neck. So it's yeah, I think it's cute. Jones, New York. And I got it for 99 cent. It's not just that. I know, size four. Uh, but that'll be on my Poshmark, most definitely. And this is a size small, and this is cute, too. I just try. I get stuff that I think is cute. I wish it would be in bigger sizes. I've seen some stuff in bigger sizes, but I'm waiting for it to go on the half off or something. I got some things on my page in bigger sizes. So this is a got built in, built in bra, kind of. You don't have to wear bra if you already got these cups. Shoot. Too bad it's not my size, but look at the colors of this dress. Look at this dress. This dress is adorable. And it has a built-in slip. I love when they already have slips made and they're not so you don't have to worry about them being see-through. Because they want to make everything see-through nowadays. And this one is what brand is this? Connection. Connection 18, which I don't know anything about Connection 18. I just thought the dress was really cute. And really cute things say, oh, I bet this will sell quickly just because look at the colors it's orange and green and white but it's just adorable 99 cent you said 4x i'm gonna have to okay i'm gonna look for some 4x stuff then we see what i find he's sleep okay why are you opening the door if he's sleep tell me to be quiet but he's gonna open the door baby zane is knocked out he's down for the count y'all then i got this one and hoping I think this was the one I, ho I was hoping would fit me because it's a medium. He just bought my water. I ain't even coughing no more. This is the one Forever 21, but I thought it was cute and it's a medium. So I'm hoping it fits me. If it doesn't fit me, then it's going on my posh, but I usually can fit a medium. Mediums and larges. And look, it's just a little cute little short little dress. And it has built in. It's like sheer on top and course this slip made into it but it's like a mulberry mul mulberry and navy little dress with them little buttons right there 
I just thought it was really a cute dress and that's how it goes. Little straps in the front and the back. So this is hopefully for myself. Hopefully I can fit this. If not, it'd be on my posh. All this stuff in this bag was 99 cents, as I said before. Sunday. This will be on my posh. It's just a cute little studded. These like little gold stud type things. I don't know what you call them. But they're, they're metal. It's a Calvin, a little Calvin Klein shirt. 99 cents. And it's a size medium. So this really would really fit me. It's really my size. But I'll go on and put it on posh. It says Calvin Klein jeans underneath that. So yeah. So it's a cute top. It's going to size medium. Yeah, Nana, we have uh, ourselves is Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. Our sales, 99 cent sales is like every Sunday, 99 cent, uh, whatever color, only the color that was half off of that week, though, not every color. So whatever. Okay, this is vintage throwback, and I had to get it, and I got it for myself. Y'all know I do this throwback vintage stuff every now and then, especially when it reminds me of something off a different world or something from when I was in high school that I didn't wear because I was a tomboy in high school. But yeah, it says special, specially handmade, and it's by mother. <laughs> I don't know who mother is, but it says specially handmade by mother. Mother might have went to glory. She might have been went on to glory like my mama. I don't know, but thank you, mother, for the nice little cute little vest. Look at it. Look at this vest, y'all. I just love it. Yeah, I know me and this vintage stuff. Put this on with a nice little blue jean skirt, a nice little blue jeans. Or even get a skirt in one of these colors or some uh, pants, capris or something in one of these colors. The song here is like a pinkish orange or orange and teal. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I'm satin on that side. Yes, yeah, teal. It's like teal, orange, and I found different colors on this side. But I just thought it was cute. That would go great with some jeans. Great, great, great with some jeans. So yeah, I will be rocking this probably with a blue jean skirt though yeah yep yep my little different world it's a different world from where you come from <laughs> it's a different world from where you come from <laughs> y'all know i go through my little singing spell especially when it's late and i ain't had much sleep and I haven't had much sleep because, like I said, I was putting stuff on Poshmark from five to seven. Was doing other the all my messing with my phone from like three to four. So yeah, I wouldn't do it like in the morning. So yeah, I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> yeah, trying to say y'all know I like to hurt y'all ears every now and then. I got this because I thought it was cute. I'm probably gonna keep this for myself. But y'all see that? See the little gold accent? Like somebody like they splashed, like they took some gold, stamped it in some gold paint. I just thought that was cute. That's why I got that for myself, and it's Jolt. I don't know what Jolt is, what brand that is, but I just thought it was too cute with that with that little gold just shimmering off of it, off of a simple gray tank, With but that just sets it off. That just makes it even more cute. And it has the flowers on it. See, I know I love the flowers. Your son's, okay, Tammy. Your son's bugging you again. <laughs> I got this green banana republic. I'm put it on my posh if it don't say I'm gonna keep it because I know I like this color green and it really looks nice on me. This color green, but it's just a banana republic simple top with these little crinkly sleeves, I guess. Size medium. <laughs> put it and fix my bra. I know I'll be adjusting my bra and stuff in these videos. No shame in my game. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? How pretty is this top? And these be ironed, of course. But it's adorable. It's size zero, though, not my size. So J. Crew. When I see stuff that ain't my size, it's adorable. I'm, I'm like, well, I might as well get it for posh and bless somebody else with it. It makes me say, man, what stuff is not my size? Because this is really cute. It looks like it would fit me, but I bet if I put it on, it'd be tight as all outdoors. Size zero. It's adorable, adorable. Look at it, y'all. Look, sequence. But yes, J. Crew, size zero. Let 
then we got this top. I think I got this for myself for work because it's Morona. The brand is Morona. It's just a simple black top. Simple. I'm trying to let y'all see the de see the tuxedo detail. I thought that was cute. So yeah, I got this for myself. Just a nice work shirt. And look at the sleeve. So that's the sleeve. It's simple. It's nice. Morona. Size medium. Hopefully it fits. If not, it's going on posh for about five bucks. <laughs> but I'm hoping it looked like it would fit me. So I'm hoping it fits me for work purposes. Hey, Miss Alley Cat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And this dress is an extra large now. We're getting up in the good sizes, y'all, the good sizes. So this dress was, is an extra large. Nicole Miller. Nicole Miller, New York, extra large. And it's just a cute little comfortable dress. Made, you know, this cotton stretch dress. Uh, it kind of got a tie dyed look to it. And I just thought it would look just a very cute, comfortable dress. You can dress it up with some heels, or you can dress it down with some tennis shoes or sandals, some flat sandals. But yeah, it's just a cute little dress. It's extra large. So this will be on my posh mark. I could probably fit it, but that can go on my posh. If it doesn't sell, then you know I'll probably take it back. And keep it, but it's yeah, that's Nicole Miller. All right, now let's get to the bag from today. The two, two bags from today. I ain't never had it. I don't think I ever wore a size zero. Miss <laughs> Cat. Like I said, I, I've always had height. That's how I wore because I think I skipped from look here, size straight to size seven. Just because I've always had height. So I had to get at least a seven, even when I was a bony stick. Got to clean these off. They just got mud on them. But other than that, they have barely been worn. They're just muddy. See, look at that. Those soles are not worn. They are not worn. Just a little bit. So I'm going to clean these old dirty soles off. Yeah, $3.99. These are suede. And I think they're Gianni Bernini is where I got them. Gianni Bini. These are Gianni Beanie. Gianni B I N I, not Bernie me. But yeah, nice little suede knee boots. And they're size seven medium. I don't know if y'all can see that on the plastic, but uh, I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see. Yeah, seven medium. And they're like a dark, deep gray. But yeah, so size seven medium. Get yourself good for the winter. They ain't they're not up yet because I need to clean them. Clean the bottom of them, get them cleaned up real nice, and I'm gonna put them on my posh mark. $3.99. I got I got them for $3.99. All shoes I get for $3.99, but some I do pay $6.99. It depends on how much I think I'm gonna get if I sell them. And the brand. And I got these. Enzo Anglioli. Angio. Angio. Ah, oh, can't even pronounce it. Angiolini. Enzo Angiolini. Size six. I got a lot of size six shoes. It's supposed to be a size six person that just donates everything. And they're the gold. Golden loafers. The golden loafers. I think they're really, really cute. Two different types of gold on them. Kind of a gold and a bronze. Now these shoes will go good with this. Look, look, y'all. Kind of. Kind of sort of. Kind of sort of maybe. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Yeah, there you go. When I put it that way, look at that. This person, these shoes. What y'all think about that? Putting that together. Really cute. It goes, y'all. It goes. Because this is like three different color goals. Lighter gold here. Another gold there. Didn't look bronze here. So, yeah. But it, it goes with that purse. Wow, you had three children. You wore a zero. I ain't. I don't even remember wearing a zero. I think I went from size fourteen kids to uh, size seven. And here's the the bag you've all been waiting for. But I'm gonna save the best for last, though. Oh, did I show you this bag? I probably didn't. 
Did I show y'all this bag? No, I didn't. This is Nicole by Nicole Miller. It's like faux snakeskin, faux boa, faux python, whatever you call it, whatever snake that is. Purse. Thought it's cute. It's on my posh already, too. This is already on there. I put it on there this morning. So check it out. I can't remember the price, but check out my posh closet. La La B42. La La, the letter B42. But yeah, $3.99. It's on posh. It's cute, cute, cute. Um, Nicole by Nicole Mella. Faux snakeskin purse. I have some shoes on there that would go good with this, too. I think I have some snakes and shoes on my page, I'm assuming. Or I haven't put them all up there yet, but yeah. That was the other purse. Yeah, I lost connection. I, I didn't, I ain't no telling. Probably some weather issues. Y'all having rain or something, Miss Alley Cat? Oh. Yeah, so in medicine, especially if it's like a steroid. I don't know if prednisone is a steroid or not. Y'all see that? I'll give y'all sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> y'all saw it. You should have saw it in the thumbnail. But look at this purse. Look at this purse. I just had to get it because it's adorable. Look at this purse. This ain't going on my Poshmark, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm keeping this for myself. I know I like little purses. It was $3.99. As you see from this toe-up price tag, I just got took off of it. $3.99. So, yeah, I'm keeping this for myself. But some stuff is just so cute. Y'all, oh, it's a steroid. Yeah. I like it. It's adorable. How adorable is this little purse? And these little things move. Look. It's just adorable. I had to get it. Had to get it. And it's this long crossbody strap. And it's just a vintage. I think it's vintage because the way it's made, it looks very vintage. Might be like 80s. Um, the brand is Marlo. Bags by Marlo. I don't know who Marlo is. I don't know nothing about Marlo. I didn't look it up, but I don't, it's probably not worth too much, but it's just cute. So that's why I got it. And I'm getting it for myself, not my Bosch, but it probably would sell quick on Posh just because it's adorable. A little metal beading on all, and it's like loose, that loose. This is just adorable. Great for an evening out. For a hot date, got a hot date. This would be a great purse, but it's not going to my posh just yet. But you wear it with a black dress. You could wear it with a gold dress. You could wear it with a silver dress. You could just wear it. Got all three colors in it. It's just adorable. You can be cute with a white dress. Just adorable. I'm too excited about this little purse, y'all. Just because I don't see people with stuff like this. It'd be very original. And then got this hat, brand new with tag. I said this. Was, I thought this would be a cute hat for Africa, for like if we go on a safari. How cute is that? Brand new with tags. This hat. This is like a safari. Perfect safari hat. Perfect, perfect safari hat. So I will be wearing this. And this is the back of it. The drawstring parts in the back. But yeah, brand new with tags. Boo and the regular price. Look at the regular price on this, y'all. Suggested re retail price $28. And I got it for a dollar seventy-nine. You see it? Dollar seventy-nine. The brand is Siggy. Mm -hmm. Siggy or Siggy. One of the dudes. But yeah, I will be rocking this in Kenya. If all goes well, pray all goes well, y'all, because we still got to get our visas. And I hope nothing goes crazy with the visas. Oh, so this is different from the one, the tag. this is on the inside, so you can tie it around your neck. So it's not the same to the drawstring on the back. So yeah, this is a really cute safari hat. Y'all going to see me wearing this if we go on a safari or if we just go outside. It's a great hat for Kenya. Hey, Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Hey, nephew. J3. Uh, Zane, just sleep. You miss baby Zane. You'll have to rewind when I get off her. See him on her talker saying happy, saying hi and stuff. He just fell asleep. This little person's going on my page. It's a Jones, New York purse. It's just a black Jones, New York crossbody bag. Crossbody with adjustable. It has more holes, so you can make it the length you need it. 
And it is Jones, New York. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it says it on the inside. The inside is really clean. I don't know if y'all can see that. No, y'all can't. But yeah. And it also says it on this little tag. It says Jones, New York. A little detail. On um, both of the tags. Both one here and the one on the top. And it has the top opening. And also has the front opening. And the front still has the car, the paper in it. So I don't think this thing was used. See? still has that paper in it that goes in there. If it was used, it wouldn't use much. It's in great shape. And it will be on my posh. But let me see if this... I'm trying to see if it's patent leather or not. Um, Jones, New York. Made in... All man, all man made material, so it's not patent leather. So, this is a vegan, you can not wish it when it's not leather, but makes to look like leather. It's a vegan bag, people like vegan bags. Um, $3.99. And then, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Y'all know I got that bread, that brown handmade leather purse in the last haul. Now, look at this, it will also go with that African handmade purse that I got. So, yeah, just thought it was. Really cute little change purse. It's all it is, just a little change purse. Just a handmade leather change purse. Just thought it was cute. So it has the zipper, but then you have this where you can just hold it like this. You don't want to take your whole purse, you just want your money, little change. There you go. Hold it like it. So that'll be going inside of one of my bags, some of my bags. And I got that for 99 cent because, of course, it's leather. And little things like this, change purses are 99 cent or 59 cent. But this one was 99 because it's leather. And now, this, I hope I'm not still breaking up. Is it still breaking up? Hopefully not because this is the last item. The creme de la creme. The creme de la creme. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. I said if this is even if this is a fake, it's a cute fake and a really good fake. But y'all know this is the same good way I found that Louis Vuitton at before. There was an insert to a suitcase, and they didn't know that that was real. And she, that woman behind the camera was like, that kind of looks real. That's why I said, I know it looks real. I don't know if it's real. I said, if it is, it's vintage. But if it's fake, it's a really good fake. It's a Louis Vuitton croissant PM. And when I look these up, it looks like it's real. But I did see one that had a serial number, and the straps look like they're a little skinnier right here. But then when I looked again, it was one somebody was selling for 600 and some. The one that had a serial number was somebody was selling it for 568. The one that didn't show a serial number that just looks just like this one, somebody was selling it for 660 something dollars or 698. So, you know, some of these good times to have serial numbers and some don't. Because this has the velvet, I, I assume this is a vintage uh, PM because this interior is red velvet. But I mean, this is great. Let me just pull the interior out for y'all. Because I put it out to search for a serial number because the one one of them that I saw, the serial number was written in this velvet or suede. That's suede. That's what it feels like suede. But it says velvet, so I don't know. It doesn't say velvet in here, but when I looked it up online, it says velvet. So I, it's a velvet that feels like suede, but it really feels like suede now that I feel it. That's suede. I guess somebody just said velvet because they thought it was velvet like I did. <laughs> but one of them that I saw, and I looked, 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 I don't see a serial number on it. But then I saw one of them that didn't have a serial number. So I don't know if it depends on the year. But you would think since it is Louis Vuitton, it would have to have a serial number somewhere. So I keep looking. I'm going to keep looking on it to see if I can find it because it didn't show you exactly where it was. It just was showing a stitch and showed a serial number. And I can find where that, where on this bag that that would be. It's not in the pocket. But yeah, even that looks really good. I mean, it looks really good. Did you see that? Y'all see that? And I got it for nine dollars and ninety nine cent. Oh, when purses are more than three ninety nine, I'm kind of iffy, but I'm like, uh, uh this is a really good. If this is a fake, it's a really good fake, and I and I want it for myself because it would cost hundreds of dollars just as even as a fake. Even this has the purses, so I said I had to get this for myself. This perfect, perfect, perfect. I know the stitching looks good, everything looks good, and I know I found real Louis Vuitton. At this thrift store before, like I told you, I have another video. You should. I'm holding it up, and I've researched it. And that's a Louis Vuitton insert, 
insert to a uh, garment bag. And it's big, like you could use it as a portfolio or a laptop bag. It's vintage, it's from like the 1970s or something. So people, some people that sell it, sell that for like 200 something dollars. They add a strap to it. They buy a little bit time strap on Poshmark or something and add it because it has those clean, it has hooks where you can put add a strap to because it was to, it hooked on to the suit, the garment bag. So yeah, but yeah, this I think if this ain't real, it's a heck of a fake, a heck of a good quality fake. This ain't no fake little regular leather. No, this is real leather, really good. And if this is real, I really hit a lick. But I was gonna research this, but I'm like. It just shows you how God works. Because y'all know I was complaining about funds, 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 but I'd already worked out how I'm going to pay and how I'm going to do stuff, call, make arrangements. And now I, I just have to watch myself on my spending it until my store starts popping off until I get back from this trip as well, because I got to focus on this trip and my store needs to start getting some good sales, my Poshmark. But I'm saying if this is actually real, that shows how God works, that if, if this is real, wow. You found a coach and you paid 12 and you looked it up, it was 248. That's good. I found a lot of coaches at that uh, thrift store too. I, now I usually pay 399 because I think they don't think it's real. I did find one that was a fake, but I got it because the colors and the style. So I was like, I'm going to get it. And I paid 699 for them, but it was just a cute pink purse. But I paid 999 for this, Louis. And if it's real, which it has all the qualities of a real one, even if it's a fake one, I probably could sell this for hundreds of $200 or more. Uh, but if it was real, people are, like I said, selling this same purse for $698 on Trade C or those other sites. So I'm like, what? That was a blessing. That was a blessing in the sky. So y'all, if y'all seen my previous video, how down I was, like, oh, I got financial issues. I got this. I got that. I got this. I got that. And then look what God does. Those are $999 Louis Vuitton purse in my face for me to sell if I want to make the money that I'm complaining about. But since I've worked it out already, I've already worked it out. Ah, how they say God already worked it out. He already, God already worked it out. Because I worked it out at work by making an arrangement. Okay, can I pay you this, 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 that, then? Boom, got that handle. I said, okay, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of thrifting now. Then I go in the thrift store and bam, a Louis Vuitton. They had a Michael Kors too, a little bit of Michael Kors crossbody bag too. But I didn't get that because that was $9.99 too. If it was $3.99, I would have got the little, it was a hot pink uh, Michael Kors crossbody, little small bag. I just wasn't sure if it was sale. I'm not trying to overdo it because I already bought a 999 bag. Um, if it's still there, maybe I'll buy it, but I think it'll sell pretty quick because it was cute. It was a cute little micro course uh, crossbody bag. But yeah, this is just just beautiful. Oh yeah, you missed him. You have to go back and look for him. He 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 went on down for the count. He was rowdy, 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 and now he's knocked out. That's how they usually are. But yeah, look at me and my Louis V. Look at me and my Louis V. I'm going to make up a rap song, y'all. <laughs> Become Cardi BB. Instead of Cardi B, Cardi BB. Look at me coming through with my Louis V. I don't know whatever else to say, so just rap with me. Coming through with the flow like I spent some dough, but I didn't spend none but $9.99 at the store. <laughs> At the Goodwill, where you get good deals, and you always going to keep it real. Yeah, MC Cardi BB. <laughs> anyway, anyway, just be a silly, but yeah, I'm going to stay out of this, y'all. I'm going. It's definitely going to Amsterdam and Kenya with me. It is definitely going, and it'll be in a Goodwill look because I'm definitely going to wear my Goodwill clothes on my trip, y'all. I already know I'm wearing my good. I'm gonna have all kind of cute little good will lookbooks over. I'm, I'm only in Amsterdam for eight hours, but I'm gonna take some lookbooks while we. They got a canal that goes through the city, which is really pretty. But we, I guess maybe after we get off that boat or before we go on that boat, I'm gonna do some uh, lookbooks. Maybe one or two outfits. I don't know if I have, have somewhere to change like that. <laughs> we'll have to see. It might just be one outfit. The outfit that I have on uh, that I put on for that day, but I'll make sure I put a cute outfit on. For the day we're in Amsterdam, just to get a cute little loop book and walk around with my little my little purse of the day, my little Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton croissant PM bag. <laughs> anyway, I was so happy because I've been looking for Louis Vuitton stuff on Poshmark, and it's like to get something you it's impossible to get anything Louis nine ninety nine, even the fake Louis. But to, this looks real to me. I'm determined that this bag is real. I'm gonna have to fill the 
other one that is in that other room. But this leather is such good quality. If it's a fake, it might as well be real. Like I said, because this is great quality, great quality. And the interior suede, when I thought it was uh, velvet, that's not velvet, that's suede. What is that velvet? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's from. What movie is that from? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Anybody know what movie that was from? What is that velvet? See if y'all know this type stuff. Y'all don't know. I'll give y'all another clue. Yep, you got it, Nana. <laughs> Nana knew. She knows. Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Just let your soul glow. <laughs> oh, y'all see, I'm tripping. I'm sleepy, y'all. Y'all know I'm crazy when I'm sleepy. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this awesome haul. And I hope y'all enjoy my silliness. I'm much better than I was in the last video. And I haven't even taken my anxiety pills yet. <laughs> but I'm going to take them so I can get on track. <coughs> but yeah, I'm just so happy about this. And the other end is, I don't even know what this is. It's just as cute to me. It's just as cute to me. I ain't no name brand designer, nothing. This is This might be worth something. Who knows? I don't know who Marlo is. She don't know me. Marlo don't know me, and I don't know Marlo, but Marlo got skills because this is adorable. So these are the two cute things that I love the most because they're for me. <laughs> the rest of the stuff's for my posh mark, but because they're for me, this is, these are the things I love the most. So <coughs> great deals make me happy. And also figuring out stuff. Taking my time to actually figure out, okay, if I do this, 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 and that, then boom, it's in order. Just don't go thrift crazy for a while. Just don't go thrift crazy until you come back from Africa. And then when you come back from Africa, don't go too thrift crazy because you got to pay for a trip to go to Jamaica in October or November. So, yeah, ain't going to be too much drifting crazy unless my store starts boop, 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 just popping. Other than that, I'm going to have to control my thrifting addiction. <coughs> I hope all y'all doing fine. Y'all doing fine. Just let me know. Say yes. Say no. If you got something going on, so I can ask what's going on. I mean, if you want to share it with the people, we all cool in here. Just want to make sure all my people, all my peeps are doing good. Yeah, I love that striped one too. It's really cute. I'm gonna take care of myself. Look at these. I'm so sleepy. Look at my eyes. Okay, Martha's doing good. Nana's doing good. Where the other it says I have five people in here, probably got more because YouTube just be showing it be changing the numbers, messing the number up. But I hope the other three people are doing good. J3, if you're still in here, I hope you're doing good. Ready for school to start back. Oh, J3's birthday is coming up soon, too, y'all. J3 will be turning nine on August the 29th. So his birthday party is coming up soon. Hopefully my sister will wait if she's watching or she sees him watching. Wait till I get back from Africa to have his birthday. I'll be back on the 20th. We'll be flying back on the 29th. We'll be back in town on the 30th. So hopefully she'll wait till the 31st or what? No, 31st is a Friday. The 1st, which is a Saturday. To have his birthday party August, September 1st. Have his birthday party September 1st. Tell my sister if you're watching. Because I'll be in Africa and I don't miss his birthdays. So, yeah. So, Raven's smiling. So, I guess that means she's good too. So, I'm glad everybody is good. And I hope y'all get some good rest tonight. Hope y'all get have a good rest of the week. And just stay prayed up. That's all I can say. Stay prayed up. Don't worry about no boot up. The little song. Nah, nah. Boot up. Da, 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 boot up. No, stay prayed up. <laughs> nah, nah, prayed up. <laughs> That's what you got to do to make it through. Forget, stay prayed up. Then you can get booed up. And then you can get the bling bling on the rain finger. I got the right hand up this time, y'all. Right here, you get that bling bling on her. Yeah. Stay prayed up, then get booed up, and then get married up. I wouldn't know about the married up part because I ain't never been married. But one day maybe I will. Someone will put up with me and my silliness and my silly ways and I have to put up with them and their silliness and their silly ways. Because everybody has flaws and I ain't ashamed of mine. It is what it is. Do, I, do you like having them, babe? 
Paul had a thorn in his side. He asked for it to be removed thrice. And what did Jesus say? My grace is sufficient. So that's my thorn. That I have anxiety and sometimes worry about stuff I shouldn't worry about. But his grace, God's grace, is sufficient to cover it all. So y'all remember that. No matter, matter what y'all going through or what's bothering you, his grace is sufficient. <laughs> Not trying to preach. <laughs> I just had Bible study. I went to Bible study yesterday. I go every week, of course. But yeah, it was a good lesson. Yeah, it, laughter is good for the soul. Keeps you going. You don't laugh, you'll go crazy all the way. But I'm trying to get more happy about that. I'm not as stressed. I'm kind of looking forward to the trip. I need to get my visa, e-visa stuff put in so I can get that. That's supposed to take like two to five business days to come. So yeah, I need to do that when I get off here. So I'm going to have to do that. And I will see y'all next time. I thank y'all for watching. I will say be blessed and be a blessing, Team Random. And if you're not part of Team Random, click, 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 because we keep it real over here. We keeps it real in the thrifting world. We don't have time for fake ones. We just sip some water with these real ones. Yeah. From east to west, coast spread love, son. <laughs> I can't remember the rest. What was that? Mason Puff Daddy or something, a biggie. Uh, east to west, coast spread love, son. I can't remember the rest. But yeah, we're going to keep it real over here. And love y'all. Thanks for all the encouragement that y'all gave me. And I'm doing better. Just got to show y'all the real, the ins and the outs of rich. Y'all you know, everybody goes through it. And you don't want to look at these other YouTubers that act, oh, my world's great. My world's great. Next thing you know, they have a nervous breakdown, going to jail or something crazy because they lying. Uh, <laughs> anyway, see y'all next time. I don't know when I'll be live again. I don't know if I'm doing anything Friday. I may just do a chit chat Friday because I told y'all my thrifting is limited right now. So I may just do a chit chat unless I go because I still go to the thrift store on my lunch breaks. If I find something else good like uh, this little time, then yeah, I will be getting it. Nine nine nine. Hopefully, I find one for three nine nine. But yeah, if I find something that's good, of course, I will be getting it. So I'm going to get some of this stuff on up on my posh. Get it all. Oh, I got to show y'all that. I didn't show y'all this. It is one more thing that I got. My bad, y'all. This, but this is a decoration. Hope it'll either go to the church or go in my house somewhere. Put some, like, flowers or something in it. Just a nice, cute metal uh, vase. The regular price on there was uh, $16.88. $16 Regular price was nineteen eighty eight, and I got it for a dollar ninety nine for ten percent of the regular price. So yeah, that's a nice little cute little face. So she's trying to do some redecorations on some of the stuff at the church. So I'll, yeah, I'm trying to chip in wherever I can in case she wants it. If she don't want, it, I say if you don't want it, I'm gonna take it from my living room, change my stuff around in my living room. I need to start doing some vlogs in there, but my lighting is not good in there because I only have one little lamp in my living room. But eventually, I'll get a good light. And then this, look. Look at this. I had to get it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it with this uh, worn out, vintage type look or if I'm going to paint it. But I think I like it with this look. But we'll see how it goes in that room. It's going to go in the room that's going to be my studio, my store studio, once I get it finished. But yeah, 99 cents for this L. It's from At Home, which used to be Garden Ridge, which I love that store. But yeah, I got an L, y'all. It'd be nice if I had an A and another L and an A. Who knows? It can all happen. May find peace by peace. But yeah, I have this. So we'll put that somewhere. She said it. Yeah, I'm in a better mood, Michelle. It's this. Yeah, God, I told you, got to fix it. I just had a shoulder. You got to show the real. Sometimes you go through those things, especially when you're not taking your anxiety medicine. But I will be taking it. I did get it. I haven't taken it yet, but I'm going to eat me something and I'm going to take it. And I should sleep peacefully tonight. And take my blood pressure medicine too, Martha. I'm going to take that too tonight because I got that. Too. I went and got that too. So, yeah. So, we, I shall be all right. Oh, yes, yeah, fine, Terry. You can go back and go back and check it out. Go on back and check it on out. I got J3 on. I'm not not J3. J3 was in the chat. But uh, Baby Zane on here talking to y'all and stuff. And 
Yeah, just chit chatting, but I'm much better, Terry. Oh, Terry, but you saw what I seen found, Terry. Look at this. This is the second time I found Louis Vuitton at that uh at that thrift store. And I think it's real. And if it's ain't if it's not real, it's a heck of a fake. Cause I looked at this person up on I looked this person up online and it looks exactly like the one except like one I saw was vintage. It had a little serial number inside in the suede. But the other one that looks like this, it didn't have a serial number. Somebody was selling that one for more than the vintage one. Like I said, one somebody was selling one that looked just like this one for six ninety eight. The vintage one somebody was selling for five sixty eight. They had the serial number on the velvet, so I don't know if they. I know some Louis Vuittons don't have serial numbers in them, but I'll have to research it more to see. But yeah, this is what I got. It's the same good with it. I found that other Louis Vuitton. If you didn't see when I found that other one, just go back. I'll shoot. I'm gonna probably put a card on this video to where it pop up up here somewhere. The video previously where I found the other Louis Vuitton. Uh, garment bag insert that they thought was fake because it didn't have handles or anything. It's just a flat, big old Louis Vuitton thing that looked like a laptop or portfolio case, but it was a garment bag insert from the 1970s. And it was real because who's going to make a fake insert with no handles? The only way that thing sells on Poshmark is if you buy handles, Louis Vuitton handles for it, and then you can sell it for like $200 on Poshmark. But I'm going to get some handles and give it to my, my apostle. So she can be styling and profiling. I need to get the handles before we go to Kenya since I'm gonna be styling and profiling in my little uh, Louis Vuitton fake or real, whatever it is. And then she can have her Louis Vuitton portfolio. They be thinking we got some money. Psh, ain't nobody got no money. <laughs> I don't know if she had money, but I know I don't. <laughs> and then this cute little purse, Terry. So these were the two cute things that, that were in there for myself. And of course, this cute little handmade. I love this type of stuff like this. Cute little handmade. Uh, change purse for myself but yeah as i said i'm gonna say bye for real this time <laughs> that's fine uh terry you can go back and look at it and catch on up and catch on up and then i sung a couple of little songs and acting crazy you always late nisha nisha you i'm done now why you talking about suki suki now i'm done oh but you see my louis vuitton nisha i keep having to show people this i done said bye 20 times but i keep having to show people this cute yeah yeah, 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 yeah. $9.99. Cent. And this cute bag. Cute, cute, cute. But yeah, take my little tired, sleepy, crazy actor self. I can't go to bed. I gotta eat some first, and then I'm gonna take my medicine, and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> but hopefully, I can sleep good tonight. Sleep good, really, really good. So, uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I will see y'all next time. So if I don't do a haul Friday, if I don't find something amazing that makes me want to buy it, because I'm, like I said, slacking on the thrifting, then I won't do a haul, but I'll have a chit-chat maybe Friday with me and maybe Zane. He'll try to talk to y'all, as he always does. But Or if he's not here, he should be here Friday, because he's my weekend baby. I get him on the weekends. But if he's not here, then it'll just me chit-chat with us, me, you, me. And y'all and whoever joins in. Like I said, 20,000 times. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share it on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. YouTube playlist. Share, share, share with your friends, family, whoever. Give me some views. Give me some subscribers. And make sure y'all check out my Poshmark closet. La La B42. La La, the letter B42. Out together. That's my Poshmark closet. Check it out. See what you like. If you're my subby, like I always say, put subby in the comments of the item that you're going to make me an offer on, and I'll give you a good deal. And if you don't have an item, if you don't want to make an offer, just put subby on the item that you want, and then I'll make an offer to you. Send you an offer from the Poshmark. So I thank y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. And again, Love y'all, Team Random. And if you haven't joined, click down there and join. What's wrong with you? You on everybody else's YouTube, but you ain't joined. Well, if you don't click that little red button down there, shoot. I know I'm doing a whole bunch of thrift stuff now, but I got some travel vlogs coming up. I got some other stuff coming up. I'm random. La la be so random. I don't just do thrift. But lately, I've been just been doing thrift. But I've got some requests to do some more reaction videos to some Nollywood movies. So I'm going to get them together. I'm going to try to watch those, watch maybe a couple of Nollywood movies when I have free time and do some reactions to those. Because someone loved my reactions I did like a year ago. <laughs> you never know when people will look at stuff that you've done way back when and be like, oh, can you do this? Or you never know when views are going to start going up on going up on one of your videos. So that was good. That was some good stuff to see that people are still interested in my some of my footage so yeah 
I will see y'all Friday. Be be, 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 be good, y'all. See y'all Friday, maybe about 8.30, if not earlier. I'll post it on my Instagram. What time I'm going to be on my Instagram is the same as my YouTube. Blah, blah, be so random. So that's my Instagram. If you're not following me, follow me on Instagram because I usually tell if I'm going to do a live. I say, okay, I'm going to go live at this time. I'm going to go live at that time. I try to, but I don't do it as often as I should. Most of the time I just go live. around. Usually it's around 8.30 or 9. I don't know. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays, and sometimes on Sundays, but mainly, mainly Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's, what's your name? Dame drops the same days too. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it just popped in my head when I said Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If y'all know Dame drops, the YouTuber, that's where I got. I just had to do that because he's he's silly. Cause that's what he says about his videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ugh. He just goes and he tastes different fast food product items when they first come out. Cause I know I love food too. So I love watching and finding out about these new food products or these new food places. So that's what he does. Food reviews or whatever. He has millions of subscribers and he's funny and he's been on food network and he, or Rachel Ray and all that. Yeah. Name drops, but I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. Bye deuces. Thanks for watching.